Before I start, I'd just like to say I hope you can't hear much background noise today because it's quite warm. I've got a window open, I've got the fan on. Like you said, it's really warm. My hay fever's still <laughs> pretty bad, so I've got red eyes and it's that warm. I'm actually wearing a bikini underneath this. Don't put that image in your mind. If this is the first time you're visiting my channel, hello and thank you for joining us. If this isn't your first time, welcome back. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. This is part two to the new Filmora version 12.3 updates and features. Part one you can find by clicking on there. In the first part I showed you new updates and features based around colours with the new colour wheels and stuff like that. In this one I've got two new features that are also part of the version 12.3. There's another update that hasn't been mentioned, but I'll show you that. And while I've been recording this, there's been another update, which is quite a fun update, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'll have fun playing around with that. Tell you more about it at the end, so stick with me, and then I'll do a separate video on that. Okay, let's have a look at the update in the second part of version 12.3 of the new updates and features in Filmora. So let's go to our stock media tab. I'll use the usual flowers video. I'll just keep project settings. I like this, it's nice and colourful. And the new update is if you go to the colour tab, which I suppose I could have included this in part one as well, but it's a slightly different feature. You're not playing around with the colours. What you are doing, if you scroll right down and go to, where are we? Where's it gone? Adjust. You can now sharpen the image or make it more blurry. So if I drag that right down to the left, you can see where the image changes and it's now blurred. I know it's got a blurred background anyway, but if we look at this flower here, we can see it's blurred. Watch as I drag the sharpener right to the far end, sharpens it right up. So I really like that. That's going to be handy if you've got a, maybe a bit of an image or a video that's slightly blurred. Hopefully that will sharpen it up for you. Okay, the next one is called Effect Mask. Let me show you how that works. So let's go to the Effects tab. We'll choose an effect. Let's have a look. Um, I like making these strange noises when I'm searching, don't I? I've just gone. <laughs> don't know why. I probably don't like silence. That's what it is. Okay, blue explosion. Let's drag that onto the clip. See what effect that gives. Oh, that's a nice effect. Let's just play that. Yeah, it's quite nice. But what if I just want that effect to be on the outside and not over the flower? This is where the new feature comes in, or the new update. Make sure you clicked on the clip, you're at the beginning. Go up to Effects, and now under your Effect tab, there's a new little icon. Don't click the little arrow, because that just closes it. Click on the icon, and now we can choose a rectangle, circle, or custom mask. I'm going to use the custom mask, and I'm quickly just going to draw around a flower. Obviously, you take your time drawing around, whatever you want to draw around, but I'll do this very quickly just for the purposes of this tutorial and I'll keep prattling on while I'm doing it. Told you I don't like silence tonight. <laughs> okay, just roughly around the edge there and then complete the mask by clicking on the first point you started at. Okay, so you can see now that this has changed, but I'm going to invert the mask so that we get this lovely effect on the background, but not on the flower. So it now looks like this. When you play it, all the background has the effect, but the flower is still its original colour. So that's going to be great. You'll be able to use that in so many ways in your videos. The next update wasn't included in the 12.3 log, but it's definitely been updated. Let me show you what it is. Let's just delete that. Go up to Media, and under AI Image, this has changed. It takes a minute or two to load. Give it a second. And now we can see here we've got aspect ratio and we've also got choose an image style which wasn't there initially. Also you have remaining image credits available. I've got 18 because I've tried it twice. But you start off with 20 and that renews every month. So let me just think of something. A cat in a cowboy hat sitting on a horse in the wild west. Let me just check my spelling because I'm awful. 
cat in a cowboy hat sitting on a horse in the wild west. The more information you give it, the better the image is supposed to be. So I'll leave it at 16.9, I'll leave it on freestyle, and I'll start creating. Again, it takes a minute or two, and it's still in its early stages there. Sometimes it gets it right, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see what this new update has done. It's generating image, blank screen. I'll leave it as, oh yeah, there we go. Right, um, okay. Well, my first thing is that a cat, there's no cat there. It's got the cowboy hat sitting on a horse in the Wild West. So the rest of it is quite good and it's quite a good image actually. So let me redo that one again and choose hand drawn. Let me just start creating again. And again, it's not bad apart from the, the missing cat. So, <laughs> unless his name's Cat, you never know. <laughs> Let's try it again with Cyberpunk. Start creating. Oh, we've got the cat. <laughs> so the cat must be a Cyberpunk. So that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> we've got a cat in a hat that looks like a horse sitting on a horse. Very strange, very strange, but fun. And they're actually quite good quality. And don't forget, if you generate one of these and you like it, you can actually download it and use it in your videos. I'll show you that in a second. But don't know what ACG stands for. Let's just try that. Or is it AOG? Sorry, my eyes. Yes, AOG. Let's start creating, see what happens with that one. I'm using the same prompt each time. Again. Can't see a cat, no idea what AOG stands for. If anybody knows what AOG stands for, please let me know in the comments below. But yes, again, it's a nice image. You know, there's no distortion really. The cowboy hat looks a bit big, um, but everything else looks in proportion and it's a quite a good quality image. Van Gogh, that'll be fun. Let's see what he can create. I bet he wish he had this when he was alive. <laughs> yeah, I can, I, can, I can see the Van Gogh influence there. All the swirly sky and the different colours. Yeah, he's definitely got the colours and like the quite brash green grass. Yeah, look, I can I can see that's quite good. Right, CGI, this will be interesting. Let's start creating that one. Can't see really much difference between them and some of the others, so I don't know why CGI. But again, the cat's missing. Got an extra horse in here, which he didn't ask for. Um, but again, not a bad image to be honest with you. Watercolour, let's have a look see what it looks like as a watercolour painting. Yeah, that's quite good. Looks slightly out of proportion maybe, a bit elongated though, I don't know, it might be the perspective. But yeah, you can see the watercolour effect in there. And again, no cat. <laughs> Missing cat, I don't know what's going on there. And the last one, futuristic. Right, that's... Strange again, we've now got two horses, two people, a male, oh no, they're both males, Oops. I thought that was a female with the long hair then. Two males, two cowboys, two horses, no cat. And again, I don't know why that's futuristic, it doesn't look futuristic at all, to be honest with you. Thought it might have had like robotic horses or something. But, let's say we wanted to keep that image. We click here to download it. It puts it into your Filmora Media. If you want to know where that is, you can right click on it, go to properties, and it shows you where it's located. Let's drag that in and see what it looks like on screen. Yeah, as you zoom in a bit, it's, you know, not perfectly clear, but it's good enough. And for an update, I think it's quite a good update. If you can get the prompt right, um, I'm sure that will improve with time, it's early days, yes. And again, I just used a cat. So have a play around with that with different prompts and, and let me know how you get on in the comments below. I'd really like to know. So let me give you a little insight into this new update that's just happened as I was creating these videos. It's about talking avatars. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm going to do a video on it. So join me next time and let me know what you think. Once again, and as always, thanks for watching. Now go have some fun.